So I want to do a hundred days of trying something without failure. Just give it a hundred. If you do something for a hundred days, you'll get better at it. You'll be more successful. I want to, for a hundred days, I want to weigh myself. I want to count calories. So yesterday when I showed this hundred days of weight loss, uh, a few of you wanted me to actually read the daily motivator for every day. You are so determined to make this program work. This time you really want to stay on your weight loss plan and reach your goal. But deep inside, you may be afraid you haven't changed at all and that you'll quit your program long before the 100 days are up. Hey guys, okay, so welcome to day one of Weight Watchers. I have done Weight Watchers in the past before, but let's just do this correctly this time. They have allotted me 84 points, which is quite of a lot. And on top of that, we have 42 weekly points, which is just extra points in case I wanted to have a cheat meal or I don't know, scatter it out throughout the week. Um, <laughs> I have done Weight Watchers quite a few times, um, but Weight Watchers has changed the formula yet again and um, they have added more zero point foods. I don't know. Weight Watchers is a great, great, great community of people who are just so welcoming and loving and the program works really well. That's why I joined Weight Watchers last night. I have re-signed up for Weight Watchers. What I like about Weight Watchers is that it teaches you to choose healthier foods over unhealthy foods. Yes, I can have ice cream. Yes, I can have pizza. But those things are higher in points because they want you to choose the things that are healthier. Chicken, brown rice, corn. I mean, corn isn't that healthy, but I mean, it's better than pizza, I guess. And Weight Watchers does work. It always has worked. I just always stop doing it because I fail. I'm a failure. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I had told myself personally, just for myself, I didn't make a public proclamation, but I said personally for myself that I was gonna take some time off from filming, just like for a few days, because I was just busy with work, tired, just wanted some me time. But then I said, oh my God, Noel, you just gave me this cute ass haircut. Who, who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Yeah, so I was just like, I can't not give them a video when I look this good. <laughs> so anyways, we are going to react to Amberlynn Reed today. Surprise! If you're here on my channel for the first time, that's a thing I do. And today, particularly, she uploaded, actually, I think she might have uploaded this late last night, and I'm filming this on May 6th at about 8 p.m., so who knows what else at this point she's done. She actually has just uploaded a video called A Wednesday Weigh-In Moment, <laughs> whatever that means. But what I wanted to react to was Operation Curvy Calories Introduction Episode 1. And the reason I want to do this is because she has done so many videos about like new journeys, new things, new this. And listen, I actually want to use this time to publicly say that like I do believe her when she says she's lost 70 pounds and I think that that's great for her. That's a great achievement. I, I hope she pushes forward. But the thing that intrigues me about this video is that homegirl has full on been doing something that worked to lose those 70 pounds and I feel like now she's getting ready to do a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't what was already working to try to lose more weight. And that's what I don't understand. Like, girl, you got something that's been working for you. I can see it in your face. I can see the, the 70 pound weight loss. I can, y'all can disagree with me if you want, but like, personally, I'm choosing to believe it because it looks like progress has been made and I'm proud of her. I've always said on my channel that I would support her if she was able to lose weight. Uh, obviously, I don't think that that negates everything that she's ever done on her channel because like, I obviously talk about a lot of stuff that she does that's not related to her weight, but I'm, I think this is great. I'm just like, girl, why are you trying to change this? And I do follow her on TikTok. She posted a TikTok about how she's doing Weight Watchers now. If you guys are looking for a way of losing weight, I recommend Weight Watchers. It is a point focused diet, if you want to call it a diet, and it teaches you to choose healthy over unhealthy. That hasn't worked for you in the past. Whatever you've been doing that you lost the 70 pounds has been working. So I just need more 
I need more understanding for myself moving forward about like why why she's switching what's already working. If it's broke, don't fix it, girl. Or if it's if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's the saying. All right, writer Zach. I'm an author. I'm, I'm about to put out some poems. Get excited. So yeah, so that's what I want to do today. I just want to see what's going on. I need to know about Operation Curvy Calories. We need to see it. So I will say she's also just been posting a lot in general. And while I would love to give you up to date on the latest Amberlynn read everything everywhere, I haven't had time. So I know she's done a lot of live streams. I've paid attention to a few of them. I haven't watched every single one. I know Eric has gone live a lot. So I just, you know, I can't possibly cover everything, nor am I interested in covering everything, but I do want to know about Operation Kirby Calories. So let's check it out. Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of hey. Operation Curvy Calories. Y'all, I didn't know I was getting a new intro. That music the clips of her dancing, me dancing with her. This is everything. This is everything I wanted. I'm so, I'm so thrilled. This is, this was the best present to me. This brought my mood up. Thank you. Thank you, Amber Lynn. What is Operation Curvy Calories? Yes. What does this mean for your channel? Tell so me more. That is what this video is. It is episode one of the introduction, why I'm doing this and everything like that. So honestly, all I can say is I am super freaking excited. So I'm okay. going to be saying the dates in these videos so you guys can kind of understand when each video is taking place. And mm -hmm, if I remember, mm -hmm. I will physically show you the date. So here Let's we have, see it. it is April 28th. So if you guys can see Girl, that. Well, what we're not going to do, that was, this has taken me back to this past summer where like nobody really knew where we are at in the real timeline, like in Amberlynn's world. April 28th, that's like a full ass week ago. A full ass week ago. What, what, <laughs> what are we doing, Amberlynn? What are, listen, listen, I, I appreci appreciate the hustle. I can't talk either today, but I appreciate the hustle. Because Homegirl has been pushing out content. She's doing a new video and a live stream almost every single day. So, girl, make the coins. But, wow, this is... We really are backdated. We are backdated on the new content. And, wow. So, the reason why I am behind in videos is so this can give me some wiggle room to breathe and okay. to edit and to upload. That makes so sense. Really is gonna work for me and pan out. So Operation Curvy Calories, this is gonna be 100 episodes of weight loss. And the reason why I am doing this is because I am too comfortable in the weight loss where I am now. Sure, <laughs> 100, why does it always have to be 100? Why? Why does it always have to be 100? She hasn't done 100 anything. She has it. She's tried, she's tried 100 days of weighing in. She's tried 100 days of posting videos. And this all happened within 2019, y'all. Th that was like three different videos in 2019, I swear, at a minimum. Are, are you serious, girl? Are you serious right now? It seems like I am stalling and I'm just balancing back and forth between the same like four pounds. And that is not where I want to be. So I need to switch up. Okay. I need to reset. I need to okay. think. And I need to have new goals and just new scheduling around my life because I just feel like I am stuck in a rut. I really. I just, I, I get the idea, I guess, to some extent about like getting a fresh start. But girl, you haven't been doing this for that long. And what you were doing was working. I don't understand. I truly just want you to keep doing what was working because it was working. Why do you need a fresh star? I don't, help me understand. I really also want to use these videos to inspire others. I'm inspired. I want to motivate others. It's okay to have bad days. It's great to have good days. And I just want to be that advocate of the weight loss community to be honest with your audience and share your true journey. And I also really want this for documentation. Okay. I love going back to older videos and 
looking at the progress I made then, how big I was then, the differences in my body, the excuses I made then, but the victories I had then. It's <laughs> I'm skeptical that she loves going back and like, well, she might like to occasionally look, but I'm, I'm skeptical that she actually goes and like looks at the past videos. This is all inspiring me. I know I've done some montages in the past uh, on my on some recent videos where I was like previously on Amber Lynn's channel but I'm already thinking about the montage that's gonna go before this and I'm just I'm just thinking like girl watch that montage whatever was at the beginning of this video because sis ma'am father mother child father daughter aunt uncle grandma sis <laughs> like have you not looked back before at anything? Like, if you're really looking back, then you would know this is exactly where it starts. This is where it starts. 100 days. I'm so confident we're going to do this. I'm going to be an advocate for the weight loss community. It's going to be great. And then, and then it's not. You have been doing well with what you were doing by not talking about it on your channel, by not being a weight loss channel. And I applaud you for that. I don't understand why you're going back to this. Help me understand. Very bittersweet having YouTube, especially for as long as I've had it. And I just really enjoy going back and seeing those things. I would so love to see it. What I expect from this is it's going to be daily episodes. I am going to film daily. If I accidentally skip a day on uploading, I do apologize. But filming daily will happen. It's okay. Daily weigh-ins. But is everything going to be titled episode one, episode two? Because you, I already mentioned that you uploaded like right before I started filming this, a new video and it didn't have episode two on it. It did say a way in. So are we not, are we not gonna have a consistent titling of these things? How do I know? Daily vlogs, daily updates. There are gonna be weight loss topics and things I wanna talk about. Okay. You guys are gonna see my struggles, see my victories. You guys are gonna see me exercise, what I'm eating. There's some cooking videos, what I ate today videos. Yes, there girl. There gonna be some eat with me moments. Let's and do it. Every day you're well, gonna see <laughs> That let's do it came out of my mouth not quick enough because I would say like, let's see this this exercise, let's see this hanging out, let's see these things. And then you said this eat with me and I'm, I've intentionally not been <laughs> watching the videos of you eating because I just, that's just not, not my cup of tea. I, I don't. And, and you say, if you don't want to watch it, don't. And so I haven't been. I'm just saying, I... I don't know that that has to be a part of, of your weight loss channel. I really don't. For a hundred episodes, where I can end up Let's doing see. something for a hundred days. So Operation Curvy Calories is just a way for me to reach goals and be more in tune with my body and more present because I just feel like I'm not very present lately. Okay. So what I will be doing for this little operation moment is I'm actually which I know a lot of people are going to be like, okay, we're in cycle one. This is super fun and fresh. I'm ready to watch the downfall, which I totally understand. Girl, where's the life? I understand that. Where? So what are you doing Cy you? Cycle one, girl. Cycle one. Where? <laughs> this is it. This is peak cycle one. You, I feel like you are out of the cycle. Like the cycle was still going like this, but Amber Lynn was hanging out over here. And she said, mm -mm, I'm not going to get in it. And she just, it was just so tempting. She said, let me jump back in. Let me jump back in. This is, ugh, girl, what, 100 days? I would love to see it. I would love to see it. I can't, I can't get it to focus. <laughs> and I know a lot of you were probably like, shook it to the core or you were expecting it. Just another new weight loss. It's not new. Moment. It's not. The difference in this. It's not new. I don't want to consider this a diet. I want to consider it a lifestyle change. Well, that's what I love about Weight Watchers. First of all, Weight Watchers is not new for you. You have done Weight Watchers before. Two, Weight Watchers is in its in its core a diet. That is like not how people. That is not a lifestyle. Does that? I mean, that's my honest, true opinion. I, you can disagree with me before, and I know it's worked for people. But like, at its core, it's a diet. It's a diet because like, it's not a lifestyle necessarily, in my opinion, but I don't wanna offend people. I just like, I, I, I think mostly where this is coming from is my frustration that she has done this before. She's talked about why Weight Watchers doesn't work for her before. 
And I just don't understand how we're back here. I don't. Do what you were doing. It teaches you how to be moderate and also choose healthier things while still being able to treat yourself. And I honestly love that about Weight Watchers. So there are three plans on Weight Watchers. There is green, blue, and purple. Green uh -huh. gives you the most points with barely any zero point foods. So for that, if I was to choose green, I would get 93 daily points. That is a lot. And the zero point foods I would get is fruit and non-starchy vegetables. Blue would give me 71 Girl, points. Girl, I don't, I don't need you to explain the concept of Weight Watchers to me. <laughs> Just tell me what you're doing. I, I, I need to know about the plan that you're doing, if nothing else. And it would give me 200 plus zero point foods, which are fruits, veggies, eggs, chicken, and beans. And then purple would give me 50 points, which is the lowest of the points, but it would give me 300 plus zero point foods, which would include fruit, well, veggies, what? Beans, lean meats, beans, which one are you tomatoes, doing? Greens and whole wheat pasta. So all of these plans are very enticing, you know, but I chose blue. I chose the middle because I feel like green, I would have to weigh things more. I personally don't like weighing chicken. It's something weird. I I don't like lean, lean meats. I don't like weighing this is, you know, certain vegetables. No, no, this is, here. here's my problem then with this. Things that are also not, I, I'm gonna be bold here too. Things that are also not necessarily a lifestyle for me, and I can say this from my own experience, is doing keto. I did keto for like two years of my life and it wasn't, it wasn't a lifestyle that I could obviously sustain. Y'all saw me, I mean, if you go back to the very first video I ever posted on here to like more recent ones, I probably easily gained back like 10 to 20 pounds since then, whatever, cool, casual. But the thing that keto did teach me about is like understanding what is in my food. I have such a better understanding of like macros, of, of nutrients. I have a better understanding of like weighing out my food so I know how much food I'm consuming. Cause the reality is, is if homegirls out here just like smashing some chicken breasts, like that all still has calories. It, it truly does. And like, I think if you're trying to think about like the things that I've taken away from keto from when I did it was that I couldn't personally eat a lot of carbs because I just couldn't control myself with them. And second, I didn't have any idea or clue how much food I was actually eating before I started weighing things out and measuring things out. So like, you need to understand that to understand like how much you're truly consuming. I don't understand this concept of not wanting to weigh things out. I don't. I truly don't. I, I, baffling. I will say purple was the most enticing because you can have potatoes for zero points. Oh, you can have that's a mess. Whole wheat pasta. That's a mess. And grains. That's a mess. I know for a fact that I would not lose as much weight as quickly by doing okay. that because I love whole wheat pasta and I love potatoes. You know, giving me that option, I could easily eat three potatoes and justify it and be like, well, it was zero points. Ooh, is, it, really. is that not also the case though for the chicken? Is it not? Is that not how that, that also works? <laughs> like, if you're eating like 10 ounces of chicken at once, that's still a lot of calories. I mean, it's certainly not as much as some other meats and proteins and things like that, but like that, your, your logic, this is where the Weight Watchers logic misses me. And actually I did try Weight Watchers once upon a time too. And this is, this is my critiques of that as well. I did it as like an experiment in the early days of my channel. Uh, you could probably go back and find it if you really search for it. And I did it for like a month and I ultimately didn't end up doing it. And a lot of people are like, oh, Zach, you're so hypocritical. You didn't follow through on this diet. And it's like, no, I did this for a whole month and realized that like I was eating way more of the zero point foods and I wasn't losing any weight because I was like, oh, a banana zero points. Let me have three today. So I don't think this logic works. It does. I mean, I think it works for some people, but I, I can already see her justifying like eating too much because she said that she would do that if 
potatoes were zero points. So what's to keep you from doing that for these other foods? I, I truly don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. So I feel like purple would work for people who are more aware of their body and they don't, there's a fly in here. Where did you come from? <gasps> Legit, we never have flies in here. That's what I'm saying. You I feel like purple is- <laughs> I don't, let me add in that clip of the, the bug. I know it wasn't a fly, but there was a bug that full up fell out of her hair once. You know, how I've lost the weight since I've lost 70 plus pounds is very much intuitive eating, but that's where okay. I feel like I'm at a stall. I really want something that's more fed out, more productive for my weight loss. So I will be getting 71 points and 42 okay. weekly points. The weekly points is just extra. If you want to have a cheat meal or you go over a few times a yes, day, you it allows you that extra. You have explained this before on your channel, but thank you. The reason why I have 71 points is because I actually put my highest weight into Weight Watchers. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this, which is completely and utterly fine. I am totally okay with that. But I wanted to start with a little bit more points, not many, than I would normally start by putting. Amber Lynn! Now, Amber Lynn! I can see the comments and see your guys' thoughts. <laughs> I totally understand. But I wanted my first week no. for me to like eat No. This. No. <laughs> no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why why would you do that? That is not how that is not how the app tells you to set it up. You do it based on your current weight. My girl, sis, ma'am, auntie uncle. <laughs> what? Father, child, sister, brother. Uh, that I am not following your logic. It doesn't. It doesn't make a lick of sense, sis. It surely does it. Next week, I will add my current Tuesday weigh in because I will be. Yeah, it's Tuesday today, right? Okay. So Tuesday for Weight Watchers is going to be my weekly weigh in. Where okay. I so it will be less points starting I don't, Tuesday. Hundred percent. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense though, because that is going to be such a drastic drop. Then that's not easing your way into it. I feel like easing, if that's really what you wanted to do, is put yourself in there like twenty pounds heavier. You're gonna make if if you're being honest about all of this, if you're telling the truth about all of this, you're gonna tell Weight Watchers. And one week I lost seventy pounds, and now. I have to adjust to probably, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but probably a much smaller number of points a day. Like that just feels like actual like recipe for failure. <laughs> like that doesn't make sense to me. That that feels like you're you're asking to not not do well on this. I don't understand. Why are you self-sabotaging? But I really wanted to ease my way into it. And plus not only that, but I really like having on Weight Watchers showing my full overall weight loss. And the only way I could do that is if I put my highest No. Weight. I know, again, a lot of people are gonna disagree with So that. that's a vanity thing is what you're saying. It's like you want on your Weight Watcher profile for it to show that you've had this like massive loss. It's a vanity thing. It's not a practical thing. That's what I'm hearing here. Thank you for confirming. That, which I'm totally fine with that. I also want to say I do have a weight loss Instagram. I don't post on there probably as much as I should. Pineapple pin up. My username on there used to be pineapple pinup, but I originally started as curvy calories and that's who I am through and through. I am curvy calories. Okay, I'm not curvy at all, but the name has a really special ring to it. These are two both made up dumb names. Are you telling me you switched your, your weight loss Insta? And do I have to go find you again? Are you under curvy calories now? I mean, I get, oh, she surely is. Wait, okay, well, I'm still following her at least, so there's that. But she really left Pineapple Pinup behind. We need to pour one out for Pineapple Pinup. I don't have a drink here to pour out, but like, y'all, light a candle. Light a candle. Y'all, y'all, we haven't done this in so long, but y'all. <laughs> y'all, you gotta. We are joined here today. If I could light this candle. <laughs> 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 oh.
<laughs> to board the loss of Pineapple Pin Up. I'm just so distraught. How could you? She was so good to us. She was such a great weight loss Instagram handle. R.I.P. We hardly knew you. <laughs> Y'all, the gag, the buffoonery. <laughs> I'll just let that keep burning back there. All right, let's get back into this now that those shenanigans are done. And I noticed ever since I started Curvy Calories a few years ago, people are also taking that username, which I understand it's very, very just like, Curvy calories. It flows off your tongue. I love it. So if you want to follow my weight loss Instagram, it is at curvy calories. Girl. It is spelled a little different. It is C U R V Y C A L O R I I E S. So it's curvy calories. The calories has two eyes in it. So I love my quirky girl with the popular weight loss Instagram handle that with two eyes. That is the only difference. So I do want to post my weigh in for today right here. Okay. Oh, we got the, we, we don't get the hello, it's ready. Work. So 500.6 means since the last time you guys talked to me, I am of almost two pounds. I okay. Like 1.6. Listen, I don't know. two My pounds, whatever. It's 488.0. So in total, I am up 2.6 pounds, which is what I'm talking about. I just keep balancing between the same four pounds and I'm like, I'm okay. completely, completely over it, honestly. So in total... I'm down 71.8 pounds, which is a lot. But at one point I was down like 40, 40, what am I saying? At one point I was down 74 point something. So it was pretty much 75 pounds. Okay. And I wasn't able to say that like, hey, I'm down 75 pounds. And now I can't say that. Okay, so well keep I, working girl. This first week of Weight Watchers, I could definitely reach that 75 pound moment again because I really need it. So I also wanted to throw in a little body shot moment. So I think it was, was it two years ago? A year and a half ago? It was January 2018. Okay. I posted a full body shot with that feels... this shirt on. Oh, so I... yes. I literally at one point was like, there is something about this shirt. Because I remember the weird seam down the middle. Like, I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, she faked something or another. I remember that shirt. I really do. Posting that, which I was like 566 or something, I do say it in the video. So I'm gonna be posting that, and then I'm gonna post the one from today. Okay. And this is that moment where I don't notice a difference, and 71.8 pounds being down pretty much 72 is a lot of weight. And for it someone is, who yeah. Weigh, you know, 200 pounds, if they lost 71 pounds, it would be such a noticeable difference. They would look like a completely different person. I, but since I'm so big, I, I want to be clear though. I, I haven't seen the clips, obviously, that are about to come up, but I feel like she looks like a different, a different person to some extent. Not a completely different person. Like, she's definitely still the same person. But, like, I can definitely see the difference. I can. I, I'm not bullshitting anybody here. Like, I feel like she has definitely lost weight. You know, I go back and forth. Sometimes I notice it and sometimes I don't. And in this case, I didn't notice it as much. You know, there are certain times where I do notice it, like in my face and in my shoulders and stuff. Okay. And then, like in my butt area. But for some reason, this kind of made me down. I I might see a little bit of a difference, but it's not that much. And it just goes to show that I'm going to have to lose a lot of weight to notice the physical changes. I do notice the internal changes, which sometimes the, it's all that matters. The T is, though, is like... I definitely think like before and after photos can help give you a sense of like what is going well and if you're doing well and things like that. Like I certainly think also like you've said here, it's going to be harder to tell when you have so much to lose. But I think the other things I've heard you talking about in live streams and videos recently that I think you should focus on is not what you look like. But what you can do, you've talked about being able to walk longer, sustain yourself longer, do more around the house longer. I mean, like at one point a year or two ago, you weren't even able to stand up to cook and you've shown us that you can do that now. And so I would focus on those things to be a good indication of like how well you're doing in your progress, because I think you are making progress. But if you beat yourself up over like minuscule differences in before and after photos, I'm I'm not sure that's productive. 
But you guys let me know what you think. But I will be putting oh, those clips in. Think you can tell. Yo, I think you I I can see it. I I kind of want to go like I think she didn't really demonstrate it well because like what she should have done is for the different poses put them like side by side. I doubt she knows how to edit that in iMovie to do that. But that I think would have been way more convincing because like watch when I do this. Like this is this and then this is like almost the same, same pose. Like you can definitely tell. Like you, she definitely has. And I think like even on her arms, like there's definitely obviously still some skin there, but it like just looks like there's less mass there. Amber Lynn, stop being so hard on yourself, girl. Like you can tell, like she has loose skin on her arms. So yeah, this is, you know, episode one. This is just a sit down video. Okay, and obviously. It will be vlog style, which I'll just take you through my day. Would love to see it. It doesn't have to be strictly the weight loss aspect of this, but there will be a way in, so you're always gonna see that weight loss moment in each episode. Okay. So Operation Curvy Calories, I would say if you wanna join me, you can, but the thing is, I am behind on videos. You can still join me. You can make this your day one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Y'all, I already did 100 days of weighing in with her once. I'll link that down below, up above somewhere, so you can go watch that. I don't have a desire to be a weight loss channel, but girl, I, I, Again, I have said I will support you in like getting healthy and if you're doing it, I'll give you the kudos and I, I believe it. I know that there are people that will be skeptical, that won't trust it. And honestly, I, she, she lies about enough other things that like I'm willing to give her this one. If she's lying, she's lying and like she's only going to hurt herself, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun and I really have, I don't have hope that she'll actually post for 100 days, but I hope that she'll figure out what's going on and like won't lose progress because that's really like what my concern about starting this 100 days of whoever, whatever thing again. It hasn't worked in the past. I don't see it working now. I wish she would just stick to what does work for her, what has been working. Uh, but what do I know? Probably, probably nothing. I'm not, I'm not an expert on anything. <laughs> here we are. If y'all like this video and it's your first video here on my channel, please make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, also click the bell button so you get notifications when I post a new video or I go live on my channel. Also leave me some comments down below, hit the like button, and follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.